welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a product that I was contacted by a company called Parku. I will put their name on the screen um, and I will put all of their information down below so you can see that. They asked me to use their pens. They are actually um, assorted colored erasable clickable gel pens. They're the clicker type, which is awesome. I love that. This is the seven pack, or this is supposed to be the seven pack, and they are $7.99 right now on Amazon. I will put all of their links down below that I have, or well, their information down below about them. Um, they asked me to just do like an honest review, maybe use this in my planner videos and things like that, so you will be seeing me use these in my planner videos. And um, so first I'm just going to uh, cut this open real quick. Well, that went crazy. Okay. So I'm going to open this up and pull out what this is and move this out of the way. Okay. As you can see, it says erasable gel pen. There's seven in the package. And this is the name P-A-R-K-O-O. They're 0.7 millimeter. They're erasable. I said that already about four, four or five times. Um, there's nothing on there. I will tell you a little bit about it, what it says about them on their Amazon link. It says that they are good for adult coloring, writing, and things like that. They um, it says, Parco pens strive to provide smooth and comfortable writing to customers. Clean and neat paper writing or drawing without mistakes is just what you need. Specially formulated gel ink brings a writer a great, great writing experience. They erase. They are erasable pens. Um, they're both heat and friction will make the ink disappear. If the pen, pen is exposed to extreme temperatures, the ink will disappear to restore the color you have to cool the, the uh, whatever it is, um, paper or whatever, and it says 60 degrees Celsius is the high temperature. I will put a, uh, I will put the Celsius Fahrenheit in the description because I do not have that right now with me. Um, the what the difference is, you know, because they are different. And um, anyway, if you put it in the freezer, if you get it cool, it will reappear. You use a hair dryer to make the uh, color disappear off of fabrics or if someone accidentally writes on your wall or something like that. This is not recommended for signatures, exam papers, or any official documents. You would not want to use this on your checks. You would not want to use this on any sort of important documents. This is just for writing, coloring, things such as that drawing, all of those types of things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take them out of the packaging. And um, let's see, write, remove, write, rewrite without damaging documents. Apply to student writing. New thermosensitive gel ink that disappears with friction using a rubber tail tip on the pen with no residue and no tearing of paper. Smooth writing gel ink. Um, it has a lot of different things on here that tells you about it, but I'm going to show you. This is just the one I picked up. This is the one um, erasable pen Parku. Let me see if I can get it to, it says remove by friction. And it has a tip here that you use to remove and you click it here on the little clip part. Let me get it in frame. That's how you click it. So, I'm going to move these out of the way and I'm going to try this on different types of paper. The first paper I have is just a piece of IQ360 Walmart paper. Let me zoom in some so you can see a little better maybe. Um, this is just, it's something you can use in planners and such as that. I use them in my Happy Planner. Okay, and you have a little nib on each one of the pens. Let me see if I can, whenever you buy it, and you have to take that little nib off to be able to use that. That's on all gel ink pens. Oh, I didn't get it all off. Whoopsies. 
anyways that's on all gel ink pens that I've ever had so I'm gonna try this pink one first let's see how it works I'm gonna just do some little squiggles oh it writes really smooth and I'm going to erase some it erases very easily okay that's the pink one let me get the little nib off and I'll do the purple one they write really smooth and there's I mean you can tell that something was written there but there's no residue you can rewrite there no problems and I'll try the green one oh that's a pretty color it didn't write immediately at first but that's normal with pens that comes off I don't know why I'm wiping there's nothing there it's just a habit from erasing with pencils so y'all ignore that because there's nothing there to remove <laughs> and the black one I'm going to erase a little they write really smooth the red one okay erase that one and this darker blue oh that's pretty and then I'll erase with that one and this lighter blue that's the last one. Oh, I closed it back up that one wrote immediately that's almost a turquoise that's a pretty color okay so I'm going to show you close up if it will focus the way it looks you can tell that I did write something but that's normal with um, any kind of erasable pen so that's that paper and it did not go through there's no bleed through there's no shadow or anything okay so now I'm going to try with a piece of just regular paper that you would put into your printer I'm going to do the same thing with that, but I'm just going to do it quickly. Now this is the regular typing or computer paper that you would use with your printer. I can't remember what weight it is, but it's not very much because it's, um, you know, not very thick. There is a little bit of shadow, but I would expect that with this paper with any kind of writing utensil not much shadow not enough that it would bother me at all but like I said this is thin paper okay now I'm gonna try it with regular notebook paper let me just take it out this is um, a more expensive note paper this is that five star notebook paper I didn't actually erase this very good but um that's my thing I didn't take time to erase it very well but it still it looks really good it did not skip really um, and there's barely any shadow on that now I'm gonna try a piece of paper from my happy planner that is um, just a piece of this that you get from um, Michaels or different places it's the same thickness as their um as this well no sorry not that <laughs> it's the same thickness as the regular paper is that your monthly layout is and um i'm not planning today so i'm not going to write on that so this is on the happy planner paper and this is where i erased not even a big deal there's no bleed through, no type of shadowing really, no more than what I would expect from any pen. So, so far my initial thoughts on these pens are they are very good pens. Um, they seem to be well built. Uh, they, I've never actually thought about using an erasable pen in my planners. I will be doing that just to test these further and I will be talking to you about them when I make my videos I won't be making any videos this week so it'll be not next week's planner videos but the next that you will see these in 
so it'll be the the week of let's see April April let me see it'll be the April 9th through the 15th will be the first time that I use them in my planner I do plan on using them in that on that day these are the pins I really like them so far I'm not saying that because I got them for free I'm saying that because so far they're really they write very well now I have tried the friction brand pens the f-r-i-x-i-o-n and um, they are very expensive pens and these work just as well or better I'm not even sure now my daughter loves friction pens so I'm gonna have her ch check them out too they're comfortable they have a little silicone sleeve here for you to um, have a comfortable write they seem to be made very well they have a lot of ink in there just as much as any other they are an awesome price for this type of pen so um, as of now that's what I think about it and I'm gonna show you the very first page that I wrote on I'm gonna show you how it erases after a little while of you know after it's dried so it erases just as easily as it did in the beginning and the paper is not hurt I mean you can feel that there was something there but you're gonna feel that with anything you erase but um, and this is the last one I did and it feels fine and I also am a heavy-handed writer and I'm a handy heavy handed eraser so that may have something to do with that having a feeling there but there's nothing no damage no you know how sometimes whenever you write on something and you erase you sometimes tear the paper there's no tearing so this is my honest review on these so far I like them um, I'll let you know what I think as they go uh, another thing these are non top I'm sorry non toxic acid free and non bleeding pens so they're not going to be anything that's toxic there is black blue no sorry black blue red turquoise purple green and pink those are the colors black blue red turquoise purple green and pink they're very pretty colors too I love these colors and they're great for planning so anyways um, you guys check out the link down below and um, that's a really good price like I said for these pins and I will see you guys next time in my next video thank you for watching and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet